good look at Red Velvet Cookie. He's not like any other cookies. He has a cake on him. I'm Aurora Animates, and I like playing the game. The Cookie Run Kingdom is filled to the brim with lore, and I enjoy finding it. If you've played Cookie Run Kingdom, or watched someone play it and enjoyed it, then you're most likely aware of the new update in the Cookie Laboratorium. And there are two new cookies for you to get. One of them is Elder Fairy Cookie, the King of the Fairy Kingdom, and Protector of the Sacred Tree and Beasties that keeps the first ancients who got corrupted from the power of their own soul jam from pulling any more invisible string. But then there's Magic Cookie. You don't know much about her. Although it's the first day I was aware of the Cookie Laboratorium event, I've already done a deep dive on her backstory. If you look at Matcha Cookie's gotcha, you will see that she was made from the dough in the laboratory. And if you get to the event, then you can see the story where you find out that the laboratory is run by a dark enchantress cookie. And by now, you might be wondering. But here's the thing. If you've got Matcha Cookie, you might have realized her special attack looks strikingly familiar to his velvet claw. Now let's not forget Red Velvet's backstory. The world divided into those heed me. I can't. They will destroy. D Dark Enchantress, C Cookie. I hear you, child. Poor thing. Have you lost your arm? There, there. I have a gift for you. I believe this will serve you well. This arm will connect you with your brethren. Hmm. Uh, I guess. Yes. That cupboard holds the ultimate recipe, and you are about to witness what it is capable of. Follow me, child. I will show you a better world. If you missed the Tower of Sweet Chaos event or forgot to finish it like I did, then you might have not gotten the message. Red Velvet Cookie's arm was eaten by a witch. The entire event falls around Pastry Cookie and her journey finding the devastating truth. And also what happened to White Lily Cookie. But that's for a different video entirely. After Dark Enchantress Cookie rose, she needed as many recruits as possible and as fast as possible to win the Dark Cloud. The cake arm would bind Red Velvet Cookie to one side and one side only. and afterwards recruiting more cookies like licorice cookie, pomegranate cookie, and avocado cookie. Now back to Matcha Cookie. She wasn't born, she wasn't found, she wasn't even raised. Matcha Cookie was created, and created only for more recruits for oncoming battles. And like Red Velvet Cookie, Matcha Cookie has a cake arm, signifying which side she was made to be on. Although she only uses her staff in battle, she still has a cake on. You just can't see it on her sleeves. No, 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 those aren't just for design. Because with Magic Cookie's hermit aesthetic, it was easy to hide her true secret. And the writers of her story even go as far to say, Tea plants that grow in the dark have no other option but to keep the light of the energy of darkness. Leaves from such a plant are supposed to grant incredible powers but whoever made her seemed to have forgotten the essential ingredient, and it greatly affected her personality. Now she spends most of her time in the darkness thinking of sinister plants and giggling. Little is known about the magic cookie, but the greatest mystery is what exactly is the missing ingredient. I honestly think the case is closed, and I'm gonna play more and learn more about magic cookies. But just saying, she's one of my top favorite cookies ever, mostly because I want to give her a hug. Now, for the true mystery of this video, you're called Aurora Animates. Why are you doing Aurora stuff? And that's a simple answer to a simple question, that being... Somebody's got a fill in. Plus, I like Cookie Ring Kingdom. I personally have been playing since the last anniversary event, which means I've been playing for a year. Wow.